Hi everyone, my name is Federico Tartarini and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to add uh, references in the footnote or any text actually uh, for that matter in the footnote. So let me just compile the document uh, and uh, let, go, let me go back to the starting point. So in the previous video I show you how to add citations to the document and uh, I also show you how to add uh, a reference into the footnote but in this video we are going to go a little bit more in detail and I'm I will show you a couple of tricks uh, on how to properly format the footnotes uh, into your paper. So starting from here, from this slide here, if you have only one uh, column in your slide you can simply use uh, the command footnote and wrap the text that you want to put in the footnote. So if you compile the document either by clicking here at the top or pressing Ctrl Enter, you will see that now the text here is in the footnote. So the only thing that we need to change is as we did before in the previous video, instead of using parent site, we just use site. And now we are going to have our reference, which is nice and formatted at the bottom of the slide. Okay? However, this approach will not work really, and I will show you actually right now, if you have two columns, okay? Because if I add this command here, footnote, a curly braces, site, and then this text, or to this regard actually could be any text, like any text in the footnote, you will see that the footnote, instead of appearing here under both columns is actually can you see is actually messing things around and the footnote is actually appearing under this column here okay so how do we solve this issue well it's pretty pretty simple so the, the only thing that we will need to do is to add here instead of a footnote we add a foot note mark okay and with the uh, we put the number of the footnote mark that we want to show. Okay, in this case, it's going to be a one because we want to show a one here because it's going to be the footnote of this specific. So, as you can see now, the formatting has gone back to normal. And here, under end columns, here we add the footnote, footnote, but in this case, we are going to add footnote text. Okay. So we have to reference the same number here, and here we add the text a foot of the note, okay? So now you will see that the text is going to appear here as we want. This is the default behavior because we want to have the two columns and to add the text of the note here. If you want to add also a footnote here on the second slide, and for instance, here inside, we want to actually even cite a document. Let's do that. So before the end column here, just a little bit above, we add foot not mark. In this case, it's going to be number two. And here we are going to add foot not text two. And here we're going to cite one paper. So we're going to cite this paper, okay? So let's do that. Now you will see that we're going to have number one here. We're going to have number two here on this uh, second column of the slide. And here we're going to have our citation here at the bottom of the slide, okay? So that's almost it if you are happy with this style. I just want to show you a couple of other things. So first of all, if you want to add a footnote but without uh, a number okay because you just want to maybe write something so maybe you have a big okay let's do it in this figure here so in the introduction so let's change this figure size here to six and i don't know i'm just showing an example so i mean eventually you can make use of it uh, if you think is uh, useful if you want to add uh, like a footnote here under the figure, but you don't want to put any specific number because you just want to reference the figure 
and for instance here we don't want to display the caption okay so let's just put this figure here which is nice but underneath we want to put a footnote we can add this whole command here at the top so at the beginning of the document okay we can add this command which i'm actually copying and pasting here and uh, we are basically defining a new command so we can use the uh, new command and uh, we are adding a footnote okay and uh, we are adding this footnote and this footnote is not going to have any numbering at all okay so how do we reference that we can just use this bl footnote that we have just created here okay and here is all the code so we begin a group we are a new command the footnote footnote and basically we are just reducing one to the number of the, the footnote so we are going to use this command you can just copy and paste this code here from the screen or from the video description so let's go back here to the slide where it says introduction here and under the figure here we want to say bl footnote so we'll have to use a backward slash bl footnote and then we say our uh, beautiful picture okay so if you do that we compile control enter yes perfect so we have our footnote with no numbering in front of the footnote okay again it's up to you you don't have to use it i just want to show you uh, one nice thing and finally the other thing that i want to show you about footnotes is how to add the footnote in line with the a page number because uh, what i don't uh, like here is that uh, uh, for instance, we have the page number here, but all this line here is occupied by the page number. But what we would like actually to have, or at least I prefer to have, is to have my footnote, which goes down all the way to the bottom of the, of the frame. Okay, so in order to do that, we can just again copy and paste this code here at the top of our code, our document footnote and page number on the same line okay so we just need to set beamer template to foot uh, line and then uh, we use this command here to have everything in one line so if you press ctrl enter it's going to compile and it's going to move all our footnotes as you can see here at the bottom of the document in line with the text number with the page number sorry which i think is much nicer because it gives us much more space in the slide. You can revert back if you don't like this behavior by just commenting out this code with control forward slash or by just putting a percent symbol in front of all this code here and then you can revert to the previous behavior. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please consider liking or subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for listening.